Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Gmail has just updated their search feature, and this is a really cool feature that they have. It is called Search Chips. Let me show you how this works. And just so you know this, I've got multiple Gmail accounts. I don't see this working in my personal accounts yet, but it is working in my Gmail with my G Suite. So if you don't have it yet, you will. I'm going to click up on the search bar and I'm going to type in Carol Martin. That's my search. When I press enter, if you notice, I have 23 results over to the right. Here are the search chips listed right below Carol Martin. I want to see emails that are to me, so I'm going to click on to me. Watch the number 23 change. Gmail is smart enough to say, hey, do you want to see emails from Carol Martin? So I don't even have to type this. I'm going to say, sure. That's what I'm looking for. So now, I'm going to turn that back off. I went down to seven. From Carol Martin gives me four. By the way, all four of these have attachments. Assume that I have 40 or 400. When I click on has attachment, even though they all four had attachment, it's now showing me what type of attachment are you looking for? Spreadsheet, PDF. I'm going to select spreadsheet, which should give me three. Turn that off. I'm going to click on PDF, which should give me two. Perfect. It's working. Well, I'm going to click on PDF and spreadsheet. I should end up with one. Spreadsheet, PDF. Again, assume that I have a lot. Gmail is also smart enough with those uh, search chips. I can quickly create a filter by going to show search options. And everything that I just did has been recorded. And I could create a filter. I could also make a label once I make the filter. Great feature. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.